Dear students, welcome to the third session of Unit 1 of Power Electronics. In this session, we will be discussing about MOSFET, that is introduction to the MOSFET, types of MOSFET, operation of N-channel enhancement type MOSFET, transfer character of MOSFET and application of MOSFET. In the previous semester, you have discussed about FET, that is fuel defector transistor. Means in, in this uh, semiconductor device, to control the output current through the channel, one electric field is created. <coughs> so in that FET, there is an electrostatic field is created by varying the strength of the electrostatic field. Current through the channel can be controlled. But what is the drawback of that one? The there is a leakage current, there is input current. So the switching speed is not high. So to improve that one, a device is developed that is a metal oxide semiconductor field defect transistor. In the device, the electrostatic field is created, but there will not be any leakage or input current, but it is a purely voltage control device. The output current can be controlled by varying the input current, input voltage. So in this slide, you can observe the power MOSFETs, different models were available depending upon the size of the size and the shape and the type will be depends upon the type of the application, their current rate handling capacity, their power handling capacity or in the operating voltage and the type of the mounting is used means how to fix that one to the body depending upon that one the MOSFETs are designed so in this slides their fabrications or the models are shown. MOSFETs as three terminals that is a drain, source and a gate. The function of source terminal to supply the carriers into the channel or either it may be holes or electrons depending upon the type of the MOSFET it will supply the carriers into the channel so that is a, a source terminal. and a drain terminal is nothing but a whatever the carriers are coming through the channel will be drained out or collected out so that terminal is named referred as a drain terminal and the third terminal is a gate its function is to control the flow of charges or carriers through the channel. So this uh, MOSFET is a three terminal device and this MOSFET is a voltage control device means the output current can be controlled by varying the input voltage. If a voltage control device, a semiconductor device, a voltage control device, the switching speed can be increased to the higher value means and there will not be any input leakage current, the losses will be minimum and the power efficiency will be high and this uh, device is a unilateral device that is current through this channel flowing it will be because of the flow of only one type of carriers either electrons or either holes but not as in case of a, a BJT in BJT two types of carriers will be flowing through the device so to constitute a current and in case of a BJT the because it is a current control device the switching speed is will be limited and internal charges uh, capacity internal capacity will be stored charges so for some time is required the switching speed will be low but it is, as it is a voltage control device switching speed will be high as compared to the transistors and even as compared to the tire most of it can be operated in three states that is on state off state even it can be operated as amplifier but power MOSFET is mainly operated in two states that is a on state that is a saturation state and a off state or a cut off state. In case of a MOSFET as at the input side between gate and source there is a oxide insulating oxide layer is provided because of that is an input impedance of the MOSFET very high which is in the range of mega ohms so the input current will be almost zero. MOSFETs will have high switching speed but low power rating so because of that MOSFETs are mainly preferred where high switching speed is required with a low power rating applications as compared to the BGT. Types of power MOSFETs so MOSFETs are mainly classified into two types one is a depletion type MOSFET and other will be enhancement type MOSFET. In a depletion type MOSFET actually a physical channel is present means in the inside that uh, device there is a physical channel is present because of the channel is present so it is called the depletion MOSFET and in case of enhancement type MOSFET there will not be a physical channel 
the channel will be created artificially by applying a proper polarity proper magnitude input voltage at the k terminal with respect to the source terminal in depletion type MOSFET as well as in enhancement type MOSFET again there are two subtypes one is a n channel MOSFET and a p channel depletion type MOSFET similarly n channel enhancement type MOSFET and a p channel enhancement type MOSFET in p channel MOSFET there is a p channel will be present through p channel the carriers will be flowing that is a holes are flowing whereas in case of a n channel MOSFET n channel will be pre present or n channel will be created and the electrons will be flowing through the channel and uh, through the device hence the name n channel and a p channel mosfet the layer diagram of depletion depth mosfet n channel as well as layer diagram of n channel enhancement mosfet is and their symbols are as shown in this uh, slide you can observe the difference between the depletion depth mosfet and enhancement type mosfet as for your syllabus n channel enhancement type mosfet is preferred the specify so we shall discuss in detail about the n channel enhancement type mosfet n channel enhancement mosfet is fabricated on a, a p type substrate in the p type substrate two n plus layers are regions are diffused at a certain distance and the n plus regions are provided as a terminals two terminals will be attached to that n plus layers one is referred as a source and other will be drain both source and drain terminals are interge interchangeable because of the the similarity and these n plus layers drain and their uh, source terminals are n plus layer so as to minimize the the contact resistance between the channel and the terminal the heavily doped n layers are used that is the n plus layers are used for both source and uh, drain between these two n plus layer over the substrate a si2 and a silicon dioxide or insulating oxide layer will be provided and above that the layer on a terminal will be fixed and that terminal is a gate terminal which will control the, the thickness of the channel width channel or width of the channel or the flow of carriers through the channel so in this enhancement type of mosfet when there is no voltage at the gate terminal even voltage applied between a drain and a source there will not be channel available and there will not be any current or not, there will not be any flow of a carriers to the channel means the channel is a actually channel is absent when the gate voltage is a zero when a gate is made positive with respect to the source with a voltage between a drain and source in series with a, with a load as the gate voltage is increase gradually then the minority carriers present in the p type substrate start moving towards the oxide layer depositing beneath the oxide in n channel enhancement of mosfet if a positive voltage applied to the gate terminal with respect to the source then because of the positive voltage on the from the substrate p type substrate the electrons start coming towards the oxide layer and accumulating below the oxide layer in the p type substrate between the two source and the drain terminals but the voltage is low only few electrons will be accumulated as the gate voltage increased higher to higher and higher values the number of electrons accumulation will be increased when the gate voltage gate to source voltage reaches certain minimum value that is a only the threshold voltage represent a vt a minimum thickness channel will be n channel will be power between the drain and the source and a minimum current start flowing through the channel that is electron start flowing from source to the drain terminal if a gate so gate to source would further increase with a positive polarity and more and more electrons will be comes from the substrate as well as from the source side the electrons will start entering the, the channel and increasing the width of the channel and as the width of the channel is increased as you know the resistance of the channel will be decreases and more and more electrons start flowing from source to the drain or more and more current start flowing from drain to source because the drain is positive with respect to the source so hence current will flow from drain through the channel to the source and through the load the 
symbol of n channel enhancement MOSFET is as shown in the figure that is the three terminals drain source and a gate and there it's a symbol the operation of n channel enhancement type MOSFET is to study that one the layer diagram with their external connection as shown in this uh, slide with a VDD that is a drain to source voltage applied VDD of certain proper magnitude if a gate to source voltage is zero there will not be current through the channel because there is no formation of the channel or there is no creation of the channel between the source and the drain but as the gate to source voltage increase the accumulation of electrons below the oxide layer will start increasing when the gate to source voltage reaches certain minimum value that is a threshold voltage Vt then certain minimum thickness channel will be formed and the current start flowing and it is just like a, the device is in on state if you increase the gate to source voltage further the width of the channel will increase more and more charge will enter through the channel hence current through the channel will be or current through the device will be increases gradually for MOSFET we can draw three two types of characteristics one is the output characteristics and the transfer characteristics so in this uh, slide the, uh, the basic circuit diagram is shown that is gate voltage it's uh, some currently limited resistance and a the drain circuit and the drain circuit supply voltage VDD and a load resistance RD is connected between drain and source and the its character that is a transfer character drawn between the drain current ID and input voltage VGS is shown as the gate to source voltage increase continuously up to certain minimum gate to source voltage there will not be current through the drain or it will not be load current or there will not be drain current when the gate to source voltage reaches a minimum voltage that is a threshold voltage Vt then minimum thickness channel is formed and current start flowing through the device as we increase the gate to source voltage continuously there is an increase in the drain current gradually there is a current will increase that is the current will increase linearly as shown in the graph practically it is found that the threshold voltage the mosfet will be around 2 to 3 volts till the gate to source voltage reaches a 2 to 3 volts there will not be current through the channel if the gate to source voltage increase above that uh, value then there is a, a current start flowing through the device in this slide the output character pay mosfet is shown here output character means it is nothing but a curve drawn between the output current with a with respect to the output voltage that is a drain current versus drain to source voltage so here for fixed voltage of input voltage of, that is a gate to source voltage for a constant gate to source voltage if you increase the drain to source voltage or a supply voltage VDD is varied then drain to source uh, voltage will increase and there is a change in the drain current means initially as the drain to source voltage increases there is a in linear increase in the drain current up to certain magnitude thereafter even drain to source voltage increase there will not be change in the drain current it remains a quite constant value and similarly such a number of curve can be drawn for a different uh, gate to source voltage which is more than threshold voltage yeah we can draw the number of uh, graphs as shown in the slide so from this graph it is clear that the device can be or a MOSFET can be operated in a three regions that is one is a cutoff state other is a the ohmic state or a the saturation state and there will be active state in cutoff state the gate to source voltage is less than threshold voltage hence there will not be current and the device will be in off state and if the gate to source voltage is increased about threshold voltage and if the drain current increase with a VDS so it is a the active state if the voltage if the gate to uh, continuously if a gate drain to source voltage increase then current reaches at a constant value that is a saturation state or a 
on state as shown in the graph. MOSFETs can be used for different applications. So for a, mainly these are preferred for a low power and high frequency applications as compared to the BJT because as you know the switching speed of the MOSFET is higher than the BJT but power rating or current handling capacity of the MOSFET will be lesser than the BJT hence these are mainly preferred for a low power applications where high switching speed is uh, required. The applications of MOSFET is are listed uh, in this slide that is it can be used for linear power supply so linear power supply means uh, the output here do not be switching device the output voltage can be varied linearly by varying a, a particular parameter for such application MOSFET can be used even it can be used as a switching power supply like SMPS or it can be used in a UPS that is an un un uninterruptible power supply it can be used as a static circuit breaker instead of a electromechanical or a mechan electromagnetic uh, or breakers the MOSFET can be used as a static circuit breaker or it can be used as a static switches instead of a electromechanical switches or electromagnetic switches like uh, relays or such things these can be used because MOSFET is are compact in size they can handle large amount of current and the maintenance will be free, there will not be any noise, sound, all those things because of that reason. Nowadays, in industrial applications, instead of mechanical switches or electromechanical switches or electromagnetic switches, the, the semiconductor device like MOSFET will be preferred as a static switches device or a static circuit breakers. The MOSFET can be used in inverters that is to convert DC to AC, means uh, from in a batteries a dc voltage available and that uh, dc battery dc voltage can be converted into ac voltage with a desired frequency or supply main supply frequency it can be converted like in a windmills or a solar power systems where the solar energy will be collected from solar collectors and which is a dc supply and for the household appliances or a household uh, lighting purpose usually AC loads will be there and that DC can be converted to AC and it can be supplied that is a, a inverters. Similarly the MOSFET can be used to convert DC to DC that is fixed DC can be converted into variable DC because in most of the industrial appliances or applications it, uh, it may be there may be requirement of a variable DC voltage depending upon the operations or depending upon the the material are different on the performance so constant DC may be available from the battery or a local G DC generator and that has to be converted into variable DC according to the requirement so to convert this fixed DC to variable DC MOSFET can be used that is a in a chopper this MOSFET can also be used in a motor control systems like in a DC motor control system, sorry, AC motor control systems. When the motor voltage rating and it, their power rating is low, then to control the speed of the motors, MOSFET can be used because the output of the MOS, if, if MOSFET circuit, which will vary the output frequency or output voltage, hence the speed of the motor can be very easily controlled. Even this MOSFET can be used in some industrial applications or a robotic control systems or a CNC machines or in a, the nowadays a telephone or a telecommunication uh, systems wherever the, the steady voltage or a variable voltage, AC voltage or DC voltage there for such a circuits MOSFET can be very easily or very conveniently used because MOSFET will have a compact size, high efficiency very easily controlled and input uh, current will not be there because of that the power loss will be less so maintenance will be less so because of that reason for such all applications more secure it can be used. Now we shall discuss about multiple choice questions on this MOSFETs. So as we have studied so far about MOSFETs the we shall I will ask uh, the questions there will be options will be there so try to answer the or try to give the correct answer there will be option it is a multiple choice questions session MOSFETs are built during using dash and dashed technology so the options are field effect 
and MOS technology, semiconductor and TTL technology, MOS technology and CMOS technology, and fourth will be none of the above. Any answer? The correct answer is A, A that is field defect and MOS technology will be used to fabricate MOS PTs. Second question, which, are, which of the terminals does not belong to MOS PTs? So here four options are there, drain, option B is gate, third option is A, base and fourth option that is D, option is A, source. So among these four, so which one is A, which one is not belongs to this uh, MOS PTs? So the correct answer is a C, that is base. So base is the, the terminal of a BJT or a bipolar junction transistor, but not of a MOS PT. So third question is a threshold voltage of a MOS PT indicates. Here four options are there. One first option is a minimum VGS at which device turn on. Second option is minimum VGS at which device turns on creation of a virtual channel and third option is a minimum VGS at which a device turns on due to avalanche breakdown and fourth option is a none of the above. Any answer? The correct answer is a B that is minimum voltage at which a device turns on and creation of a virtual channel. Fourth question, most suitable device for low power and high frequency application is, here four options are there, BZT, IGBT, MOSFET and ACR. So among these, uh, which device is correct? So correct answer is a C, option C that is a MOSFET. Now fifth question, is a, choose the correct statement for a MOSFET. Here, four statements are there. First statement is a low switching frequency, high on state conduction losses, low switching losses. Option B is high switching frequency, low on state conduction losses, low switching losses. Third is a high switching frequency, high on state conduction losses, low switching losses. And D will be low switching frequency, low on state conduction losses high switching losses. So among these which one is correct? The correct answer is a option C that is for MOS APT, high switching frequency, low on state conduction losses and low switching losses. Next question that is the sixth question. Choose the correct statement. Input impedance of MOS APT is higher than that of BJT. Input impedance of MOS APT is lower than BJT. MOSFET has higher switching losses than BJT. MOSFET has lower switching losses than that of BJT. So the options are will be both both one and two. Second option will be two and three. Third option will be one and three, and the fourth option will be one and four. Which one is correct? correct option is a D that is both 1 and 4 that is input high input impedance of MOS is higher than that of BJT and MOS has lower switching losses than BJT so this is a correct question question that is seventh uh, multiple choice question choose the correct statement a MOS is a unipolar three terminal current control device Option B, MOS APT is a bipolar three terminal current control device. C is MOS APT is a unipolar three terminal voltage control device. D, MOS APT is a unipolar two terminal voltage control device. So among these four, which one is correct? The correct answer is the option C. That is MOS APT is a unipolar three terminal voltage control device. Next one. Eighth question, the arrow in the MOS PT symbol indicates A, that is N channel MOS PT, direction of electrons, that it is a P channel device, direction of current. 
which one is correct so correct option will be or correct answer is a b is the direction of electrons flow next question is a ninth question that is controlling parameter of a mosfet is option a is a vgs that is gate to source voltage option b id drain current or option c vds that is drain to source voltage and option d is a is source source current is which one is correct the correct answer is a that is option a that is vgs so that is gate to source voltage will control the the mosfet operation or the output current of a mosfet is controlled by input gate to source voltage now 10th question is a transfer characters characteristics is a plot of option a id versus vds b is versus vgs c id versus vgs d vds versus vgs so which one is correct the correct option is a c that is id versus vgs that is a transfer characteristic of a mosfet is a curve drawn between drain current or output current and a gate to source voltage that is a input voltage because as you know in case of a mosfet the output current is controlled by input voltage so that uh, character is not the transfer characteristics yes now we come to the end of this session that is mosfet session third session if you have any doubts you can ask questions about regarding the mosfet or even about the previous uh, sessions so i'll try to give the uh, un proper answer to you okay thank you shall meet in the next session thank you anand